Hey guys, welcome. Oh man, we are on. Sorry, I, this is just as good as it's gonna get for me today. It was not one of those days where I was gonna get ready, but that's okay. If you are following us from now on, or ugh, I can't even speak. If you're following us, you know we're a mess per usual. But okay, I am so excited. We have been doing, let me fix this. We have been doing 12 days of stocking stuffers. This is actually day 12 and we are going to be running through kids, babies. Um, yeah, so I'd probably say anywhere from ages zero to seven years old. Um, we've also done, if you want more kid stuff after this is done, we've also done kids on day three. And then I know Gracie did kids one day. So just if you scroll through our last Amazon lives, it's all stocking stuffers. So if it has a category, like this one says ages zero to seven, then you know what category it is. If it doesn't have a category, then it's probably just a bunch of random ones for adults. So that should make it easy. So make sure to hit follow and go through the stocking stuffers. I'm gonna give it a minute, nobody's on yet. Mm -hmm. Get on my computer. All right. Okay, there we go. We got some people joining. Get my laptop too. All right. Let's go ahead and run through. Hey guys, if you are just joining again, so this is the last day. This is day twelve of our twelve days of stocking stuffers, and we are going to jump in. To, I have a lot of stuff for kids, babies, toddlers, preschoolers, probably up to like age seven. But if you want more stocking stuffers for kids, let me tell you exactly. Okay. So all the days that we've done kids are, see, and if you can see here, you can scroll through and if you just click on our Amazon live page and see each day. So Gracie did five to eight year olds on day six and I did kids and toddlers on day three so go ahead and scroll through our Amazon lives we've done stuff for guys we've done stuff for adults we've done stuff for the beauty lovers we've done makeup we have done it all over 12 days so let's roll on through okay again we're going all over the place with kids so we're gonna start with some baby stuff you guys, I'm, if you know, I'm a boy mom, so whenever I get a chance to buy stuff for my nieces, I do. How cute. I've loved these forever. They're the cutest little toys, and I, I mean, they'll love it. You can put this on their little finger. I love when something's cute, but I actually really think that they will love it. So you get this four piece. They're so cute. They're on sale right now. They are organic, so like they put it in their mouth, no gross chemicals. It actually comes in this cute little bag. And I just feel like it's a, such a cute little stocking stuffer. So you got a four piece here. This, go on their little fingers. It's got a bell. My kids would love this. Little rattle, teasing thing. And then these two. Isn't that super cute in a stocking? So I feel like all the babies in your life, these are so cute. Okay, now we have people joining. If you guys are just joining, this is day 12 of our 12 days of stocking stuffer. So make sure to hit follow and go back and look at all the days because we have stuff for adults, for men, for ages five to eight, for toddlers. But right now I am doing basically ages like zero to eight, zero to seven-ish. So I just think those are so cute. The cutest little stocking stuffer. Yay, thanks for the follow. Also, if you're scrolling through here and there's something that you want me to jump to and show you, I'm happy to do that. Okay, I have a four-year-old and we're dealing with a little bit of fine motor issues. So my sister who's a teacher is like all into me buying these scissors. Can I see them here? So I'm gonna put these in the stockings. They are, have all bunch of the little shapes, like the different edges. Happy holidays, so love your Amazon influencer name. Yes, supporting chaos. Yeah, that is our 
life. My sister and I stay at home maintaining a bundle of six. You get it. Um, my sister and I share this account. If you're new here, I am Sammy. She is Gracie. We are supporting chaos all the time. That's why I look like this. But yeah, that's our handle here on TikTok, on Amazon. So make sure stay at home mom. I feel you mom. It's a long day. My husband's right now down there watching the kids, but you're doing amazing because it's hard life sometimes, right? Oh, thank you. I just put a beanie over to hide my hair. But so it comes with all these scissors and I get stockings for my boys, but also for my nieces. And it's kind of cool because I can put one in each stocking too, but it's a six pack. I feel like this makes a great stocking stuffer. I don't know. I always look at stocking stuffers at stuff that like they're going to be excited about, but also that they're going to need. Oh my god my eight months would love these are yes oh my gosh please get them because i mean they could totally be for boys too but i feel like they're super cute for girls they could be for either okay this is actually i have not tried these yet have y'all heard of these these amber teething necklace my sister's best friend is very into all the holistic type of stuff and she swears by it so I'm actually getting it for my sister. But there's these amber teething necklaces. If you, you guys might know more about it than I do, but it's for babies and it's supposed to help with teething. Have you guys heard of this? So I'm excited to try it out. I've heard like amazing things and I mean the reviews are good. I feel like you know if you have a teething baby, you're just like willing to do anything. It's so hard. So. I'm excited to try these out. I feel like it's a super cute little stocking stuffer. Like can't hurt to try. And I trust my sister's friend and she swears by it. If anybody on here has tried them. Oh my God, I have a question since you're mama too. Yes, let me know. I am here to answer. I love when people talk to me on here. Okay. I also added a bunch of books to this Amazon Live because we, I just realized I haven't shared any books and it's like a great time to give books. Also, I'm going to be honest with you guys, a lot of these books are loved because, you know, we've had them for four years. So, this is so funny. I actually stole this from Gracie. Sorry, Gracie, but not really. This is called Vegetables and Underwear, and I don't know what it is, but my kids have loved this forever. My four-year-old and two-year-old still love it. It's also a really good book if you're, like, about to start potty training. So, I've been reading this a lot with my two-year-old, but it's, like... I wear underwear, you wear underwear, we all wear underwear, and then it talks about, I mean, I could honestly just repeat it for you, um, but I won't just do that, but it's like, wait a second, babies don't wear underwear, babies wear diapers, sorry babies, so it kind of like celebrates wearing underwears, um, and it's just like a really funny book, it's an easy read because you guys, I'm not giving you anything hard to read because... I'm the type of mom that skips pages when I read, so I want a book that I kind of enjoy too. It's just a really cute, fun book. I mean, my four-year-old still loves it. I feel like it's really great though for kids who are about to start potty training. This is such a great book to put in stock. Okay, let me answer this. So do you put all your kiddo scissors, crayons, markers, and anything colors me? Do you place all these up very high for yours not to get into? I try to, I will be so honest with you. I can show you at the end if you want. I have a closet downstairs that is destroyed. So I have like a little lock on it, but they get into it and it's all over. But my goal for the new year is to actually organize that closet and just have it a little less chaotic. <laughs> what do you do? I'm curious, how do you handle it? Yes, it's such a fun book or is it just me? Yeah, I need to organize my whole closet of stuff because it's a mess. And you kind of need it up high because then they don't put the marker caps on. Spoiler alert, get the clickable markers. I talk about those in day three of these. Um, but yeah, super cute book. It's, I got I swear to you guys, I'm going to be organizing my closet of crafts and stuff in the new year. No one can stop me. Super, super fun book. Okay, this is a really great, these fidget toys. It's a 50 piece, guys. I have a bunch here. This is actually my second time ordering these. What I would do is, I'm gonna show you guys, there's so many stuff, there's so much here. 
So what you can do is I would put some in everyone's stockings, but then also put some in little bags and just have them ready that you can take to a restaurant because they're so nice to have at a restaurant. And this comes in a 50 pack. Like there's so many. So these are all the things. So there's one of these, which is really great. Obviously these little poppers, but they have it like stuff for all age, like these little root, like Rubik's cube. Man, let me see it. Oh my God, I try so hard to myself. I placed all of ours inside a clear organizer and inside our cabinet and our kitchen above our sink. Oh, I did that. For some reason, they, yes. Mine is, I will show it to you. Message me on Instagram and I will show you a pic of my like little closet area. It's got like brooms in it. It is, they find it. There's like puzzle pieces everywhere. I swear I'm going to organize it, but then they'll find it again. It's so hard. Um, so they have these little Rubik's cubes. These, which are awesome. These type of things. I don't, these are really fun. I actually get kind of into it. Um, they have balls, these things, like just, those are pretty fun. I feel like it's just a super, these do you like put your finger in? I don't know, you can see like a ton of stuff great stocking stuffers, great things for like restaurants or in the car. What is this? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. There's little peas in them. And they don't, oh, you can't lose them. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Why am I obsessed with that? And they have a little face. Do you guys see that? Oh my God, that's so cute. Um, so yeah, this is not even all of it. It's a huge box. Football, bunch of balls and little guys. Just again, like a great, okay, that is fun. I might keep some of these for myself. Highly recommend, great little gift. Okay, this is such a cute book on here. One of our followers on Instagram recommended it. So Alpha Breast, the ABCs of Mindful Breathing. I think I'm gonna make this a goal in 2023 to try to do one of these like breaths every day with my four year old. So the first one is alligator breath. Open your arms wide like an alligator, jaws on, jaws on the in breath, snap them shut on the out breath. And it kind of goes through a bunch of different ways to practice mindful breathing. I think this would be so fun. I just got this, but we are gonna, this would just be really fun to go through and do together. Also, if they're just having like a hard moment, I love this. I'm all about this type of stuff, but I don't know how to do it, so I need to learn. So the ABCs of mindful breathing. Super cute and on sale today. Second son who's now 12. <laughs> that is so funny. How old are your kids? So you have a 12 year old, would you say like an eight month old? Yeah, how old are your kids? And do you have boys, boys and girls? Let me know. But Anyways, I think this is a super, super cute book. Okay, these are really fun. I've never seen these before, but perfect for a little stocking. There's, it comes in a four pack. This is the one that gets me. Again, these are things that are just so fun to put in their, in their stockings. I feel like this is really fun for like a one-year-old too and older kids. But this is actually cool because I feel like they have a wide range. So if you have a lot of kids, this one's almost like a game. I feel like my four-year-old would like this. But, okay, that's sweet. And this is really great, I feel like, if you have kids of all different ages because you can put the right one in each stocking. I know my four-year-old would like this one. Anyways, cute little things to put in the stockings, right? We love it. This is a book, I feel like this is obviously like a good baby book that we have loved forever. I mean, y'all, mine, we've had this for four years, but if I were a puppy, it's so cute. It would be so cute in a stocking. My nose would be squashy so you can touch it. Kids love that. My tail would be furry. I'm not gonna lie, we still read this with my two-year-old all the time because sometimes I just need a quick book. My collar would be shiny. These actually feel so good. My ears would be velvety. 
You guys, this has stood up for so long because we've had this for a long time. Really, really cute book. It would just be awesome in a stocking. Great little stocking stuffer. I don't know about you guys too. I feel like I need new books because I get bored. Every doing the same thing. Over and over. Okay. Gosh, you guys, we love this book. So this is the Pow Pout Fish. We have taken it on vacations. This is four years old. This thing has been loved. But one of our favorite books. It is great. You can read it to them when they're young. But again, my four-year-old still loves it. So deep in the water where I could literally, but they love this part. Like I'm a pout pout fish with the pout pout face. So I spread the cheery cheeries all over the place. And it goes blub, blub, blub. Just like seriously one of my favorite books. So it's all about him being pout, pouty. And then the end, this fish comes. She plants a kiss upon his pout and then he swims away. <laughs> Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He's stone faced like a statue. And then he, sorry. <sighs> Oh, that's bad. Um, so he realizes he's not a pout pout fish. He's a kiss kiss fish with a kiss kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. So I'll smooch. It's also fun because when you're reading it to me, you're like, I'll smooch. And then you like give him kisses. Smooch. I don't know. Super fun book. We love this. I love it. It's a good one. Okay. My oldest is 19. Oh my gosh. He has his own place and works for Amazon. That's awesome. You must be so proud. That would just be so cool to see. You know, your kid's adulting. Sad and, and cool at the same time. 12 year old boy, nine year old boy, eight year old boy, four girl, and yes, my precious baby boy. Months. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Well, you are busy. I need all your advice on how to parent because I have a four and two year old and holy moly, both boys, it's crazy. Crazy, 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 okay. I got, I've been doing a lot of slime recently because again, my four year old, his fine motor skills and finger strengths are a little weak. So, we've been doing the putty. How do I open this? Okay. I haven't opened this one yet because, oh, there we go. Ooh. So, you know, just glow in the dark. Wow. Ah! I like this stuff because it's not like as messy as Play-Doh, but it's glow in the dark. I was actually talking to like a, a friend who's an occupational therapist. She was saying to find stuff with like these little things in them. And that's kind of a game is try to have them pick them out. All the little eye things, but glow in the dark, fun, great for finger strength, fine motor skills. The glow in the dark part is just really cool. They would love to get that in their stocking. I just love slime, but I say no slime or Play-Doh in the house. Yeah, I, Play-Doh, this just seems, I don't know. I haven't had as much problem with this, but I totally get where you're coming from. I've been doing it because I think my four-year-old's having trouble like learning how to write because of his finger strength. Kinetic sand. Yeah, I do love kinetic sand too. But you got, you got a lot of kids. You got to do what you got to do. I feel that. Um, all right. Moving right along. Yeah. I think it's really cool that it's golden dark. This is like so silly, but I don't know. The kids love it. If you like these little PJ masks watch, they wear them all the time. Um, if you click on it, there's Catboy, there's Owlette, there's Gecko. If you have PJ masks fan, you can kind of see. They love to wear these. You got any PJ mask fans highly recommend okay we are rolling I actually got these a ton I just wanted some matching slippers for them all and I couldn't find a bunch so I thought these were really cute they have a bunch of different colors all different sizes so go ahead and click on it and you can see them but for the girls in the family and the boys in the family I don't know. They think it, my kids think it's really cool and with their cousins to wake up and I'll have matching slippers in the morning. So super fun little stocking stuffer. Okay, moving right along. Trashy Town is one of my all time, what does the watch say? Oh no, you're fine. So if they like, it would, <laughs> PJ Mask. I don't know if your kids watch that show, but my kids are obsessed. So really all it does is like light up and make sounds to the night to save the day. 
So if you have PJ Masks fan, this is, they'll be obsessed. Okay, Trashy Town, I don't know where it is and I got ready really fast. Can I see the, yes, of course. How cute are these? Let me go back. So I have matching ones for everybody Christmas morning. So I thought those are really cute for the girls. These are really cute for the boys, but they have a bunch of different styles. So cute. Oh, do you have a PJ Masks fan? Yeah. Super cute. Fun little stocking stuffer. They just always think it's so fun to match too. I don't know. I think it's a fun little Christmas morning thing. All right, we are rolling. What time is it? 3.38. Okay, I legit have to run through this now because I have a nail appointment that I'm about to take my four year old to with me. So we'll see how that works. Um, Trashy Town is like my absolute favorite book. If you have any kids actually, but if, especially if they love the trash truck, it actually makes me emotional because I used to read that book to my kid all the time, but my two year old loves it. My four year old loves it. Trashy Town is my favorite. Yay. Look at them. I love that. Um, okay. I'm going to run through this now because I kind of have to run, but so Trashy Town is my first favorite. Smashy Town is my second favorite, but Trashy Town, I can just tell you the words because I know them by heart. Mr. Gilly is a trash. <laughs> okay. You guys don't want that. Just trust me on these books. Like they're so cute. Like by far our favorite books. Trashy Town is my favorite. Smashy Town is my second. Okay. Again, more of this putty stuff. I've been doing it. So this one's really cool. We've been playing with this one for a while. This is used. But it comes with a bunch of these little characters in it. So I'm just trying to help him work on his finger strength. And it like honestly buys time because it's kind of hard to do. But I just bury all the little guys in here and have him try to take it out. Let's see here. Like super great little stocking stuffer. Alrighty, I am rolling now. Where am I? Ooh, I'm going slow. Anybody know what time it is? What time is it? Okay. 3.40. That's my alarm to stop. <laughs> Alexa, turn it off. Okay. Speed. We're going through fast. These little socks, if you have a girl, these socks and these little Air Force, or Nike Air Force ones, it's like my dream. One day I'm going to have a girl. She's going to have them. So just a really cute pack of socks, different colors, all fluffy. This is the vibe. Like if you, if you do this, please send me pictures because I love you forever. I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to run through this fast. But more socks here, the girls version and the boys version. We've had these forever. I love how they have the little grippies on them. Y'all. If you have a baby, this is just so funny. Go the F to sleep. One of my favorite books. I talk about it all the time. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so sorry, guys. I ran out of time. I would say that this is like so unlike me, but it's not. And um, these little smiley beanies are so cute. And like, these is one I have for my boys, but I obviously love the hot pink. So you could get a bunch for all the kids. Another little four pack of the fidget toys. Okay, I talked about this before in the Nemo version. This is the Dory. Your kids will be obsessed. You pull this little string and they swim in the bathtub. It's like husband, one of our favorite fast toys forever. Okay. We are running through. I always like to give them one of their water bottles. We lose water bottles all the time. And if it has their favorite characters on it, they're going to be excited. If you click on this one, there's like 50 plus designs. Highly, highly recommend. Also, guys, I'm so sorry. I have to go so fast now. But please, like, go back through our last 12 lives. We've been doing this for 12 days. And... There is a bunch more. I talk about these all the time, these little magnetic blocks. I think I talk about them more in day three, but they are so fun. My kids love them. A great little stocking stuffer and it comes in a little bag and they're on sale for $31.99. Great. 
Okay, last but not least, these are like the really cool like Montessori little rocks that they can stack up. Super cute little stocking stuffer. All right, last but le not least, we've just got two beanies, the Carhartt one and the North Face. If you click on it, they have a bunch of other colors. I am so sorry I had to run through this. I'm going to the nail salon with a four-year-old, so send prayers. Um, I will be bringing the iPad. But please make sure to give us a follow. Go back and look through all 12 days because we have a ton of things. And if you have any questions, DM us on Instagram at support.